that is about sale of goods sold goods 10000 so on 12th you sold goods to uh, you sold goods worth 10000 so cash is coming in real account is coming in as a result we will be debiting cash cash account debit now goods are going out goods are real account so real account rule says creditor real account when they go out so we will be writing sales which is representing nothing but goods which are going out so our amount being 10,000 the journal entry being written as cash account debit to sales account and your narration being goods sold for cash now coming to the last transaction which is on 14th sold goods you have sold the goods but you are receiving the amount in two ways in this if you see received 10,000 in cash and 5,000 by check so you sold totally goods worth 15,000 and you are getting that 15,000 10,000 by way of cash and 5,000 by way of check so on 14th you have made sale you are getting cash so cash is coming in real account rule debit what comes in so how much you are getting in cash 10,000 now you are also getting check that means you have to you will lay on a later date you will deposit this check in the bank and the bank will collect your money so your money will be collected by bank so bank is the receiver of your money so bank being personal account and it is receiving your money we will treat it as a personal account receiving money so debit the receiver so hence bank we are debiting because ultimately it will collect the money of our behalf so we say temporarily it is the receiver of our money so 5000 we will debit to the bank account and goods are going out goods are real account so creditor real account when it goes out so we are representing goods with the word sales and hence ultimately this is becoming a compound journal entry wherein by in debit you have 10,000 in the form of cash and 5,000 in the form of a check which together is contributing to your total sale of 15,000.